Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So everything I'm hearing is really, really quiet in Miami. The hottest name that I'm hearing right now is the Toronto Raptors, actually. Talked to two really high-ranking team execs today, and they said Toronto is the front runner, and they wouldn't be surprised if he ended up in the six. Now, my thing, who are the Toronto Raptors really giving up? Because I know they're not going to give up Scotty Barnes. I know they're not going to give up Pascal Siakam. It just doesn't make sense. So I know that they have OG that they could possibly give up in two first round picks. But how is that really better than what the Miami Heat really have? You know, we're probably going to be willing to give up Jaime Hawkins Jr. Also to Nicole Jovich. However, I know that they just submitted a trade package to the Portland Trail Blazers of Tyler Hero and two first round picks. And it's weird because, like I said in my last video, we know that the Portland Trail Blazers do not want Tyler Hero. So I don't really know what's the holdup on Miami. And I get it. They don't want to gut their team. But we're going to have to give something to get something. You know, Joe Cronin, he's not going to change his mind. He hasn't changed his mind the whole offseason. But I don't understand what the Portland Trail Blazers really want at the end of the day. I get it. They don't want to deal with Miami. But then also, too, is Toronto, who are they giving up in this crazy trade package to say that they're front runners? To be honest, I just think that they're just ja trying to jack up the price for Miami to give up a little bit more or more than they wanted to. But it's going to be really hard to see how the Toronto Raptors are going to give up all these assets for a guy who's pretty much made it clear he doesn't want to be anywhere else but in Miami. However, he did the same thing with Kawhi. And look at Kawhi. He left. So I'm very surprised to see a trade package come up from Toronto. But at the end of the day, I honestly think that Joe Cronin, he's not going to do right by Dame. If he was, he would have done it already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers. Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So the Miami Heat have offered a trade package that included Tyler Hero and two first-round draft picks for Damian Lillard. Now, that's from Mark J. Spears. I just don't understand why they would offer that because the Portland Trailblazers have pretty much already made it clear they do not want Tyler Hero. So I'm surprised that they really didn't try to include maybe Jaime Jaquez Jr. or somebody else. I understand what the Miami Heat are doing, trying to play hardball. They don't want to put all their assets in the first, you know, uh, trade sent to the Portland Trailblazers. But by now, man, we've all been waiting the whole offseason for this. I'm surprised they haven't put out their best package yet. Once again, I think that the league is really disrespecting Tyler Hero. He's not a bad player. I understand that they have Scoot, Simons, and Sharp, but this is why teams like the Portland Trailblazers, the Orlando Magic, they all continue to be terrible teams because – I get it. You don't want Tyler Hero, and he's going to clog up your um, point guard and your shooting guard slots. However, you take him and flip him later. He's a good asset, 23 years old, former sixth man of the year. He's averaging 20 points a game, a good shooter. Even though he plays that shooting guard role, you can maybe even put him at small forward at times or continue to play small ball lineups, try to make it work to include Tyler Hero, and then maybe flip him later, especially for his contract compared to other people just right around the NBA, he's not making that much money compared to other guys. But like I said, I'm very surprised by now the Miami Heat haven't really put out their best package because, like I said, the Portland Trail Blazers, they do not want Tyler Hero. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.